really like this rusty old bunker, huh? You see a rusty old bunker and I see a clean, well-organized garage where I can fix up cars. <sighs> Boys and their toys. I happen to be very good at it. I'm sure. So you'll be hard at work and Lulu will come by on our lunch hour with a homemade sandwich for her man? Yeah, Lulu's got no idea about all the things that I've done. Join the party. Spinelli has this habit of always thinking the best of me. I don't know if it's wonderful or really annoying. It has me on such a high pedestal. Sometimes I feel like I'm getting vertigo. All you want to do is get down? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I was such an ass in my last fight with Lulu. I was looking for an out. An excuse to end things before she finds out the truth. You keep saying that. The truth about what? Do you have some huge secret? Did you kill your nanny when you were five and roll her up in a rug in your attic? You know, you can tell me what you did. I'm not going to think any less of you. You sure about that? Lulu's got those rose-colored glasses firmly in place, just like Spinelli. He's always had this crazy idea that I'm better than I really am. Yeah, Lulu thinks I'm noble for walking out on my family and doing things on my own. It doesn't feel that way to me. I walked out because my father's a twisted whack job and I had no choice but to get away. So, what's the secret? I mean, nothing you say will surprise me. I've known for a long time that if Lulu knew, she would hate me. But I ignored it. Focused on the crisis at hand, and Lulu killing Logan happened to be a hell of a distraction. Wait a second, this secret is older than that? Alright, what is this, 20 questions? Lulu and I should be over. Does she get a say in that? What are you going to do? Avoid Lulu's calls and just hope she goes away? I haven't thought it through. Well, you should think it through because Lulu may be a lot of things, but she's not a quitter. I don't want to hurt her. So stay with her. She's pretty stubborn. I'm sure she'll just go on thinking the best of you forever and ever. Yeah, secrets always have their way of coming out. I don't know, I just, I'd rather hurt her now than hurt her much more down the road. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is better just to end it so you don't get more invested and things eventually just fall apart. Why would you and Spinelli fall apart? Well, I don't have this big dark secret that's gonna blow up in my face, but I do have a habit that goes deeper than Spinelli understands. What's that? I disappoint people. Even the people who think the best of me. Especially them. I've already disappointed Spinelli. Knowing me, I'm just gonna up the ante and make things worse and worse until I ruin the best thing in my life. Spinelli will leave. I'm just afraid when that day comes, I will really truly fall apart. Nicholas! Hey. What's up? You seem distracted. Yeah. I was talking to Nadine, I looked up, and there she was again at the end of the hallway. So she was really far away. It was Emily, I'm sure of it. The problem is that there are a lot of people here that would recognize Emily. She was a medical student, the quarter mains are here for the benefit, don't you think if okay, she was I'm, here I'm, that somebody... I'm not saying it makes sense, I'm just saying it was either Emily or someone who looked exactly like her. Are you sure it's not in your head? You already asked me that, that's what's different. Fine, good luck then. Finding Emily. Well, what's wrong with you? Nothing. No, not nothing. You're upset. What, what's going on? I'm still upset about Johnny. Okay, so tell me. We had a really bad fight, and I can't reach him now. Well, I wouldn't be too concerned yet. I mean, the storm is wreaking some pretty bad havoc on the cell service in here. The problem is that the... Uh, our fight, it, it just... It seemed like he was looking for an excuse to leave. Maybe it all started when I had my big operation and I got my cousin BJ's heart. So much was expected of me. I mean, I had a second chance at life and I was supposed to do amazing things with my future. I kind of felt like I didn't deserve it. So I went the complete opposite direction. I started acting out. I was really selfish. Georgie was the only person who saw through that. 
Maybe Mac and Robin, but outside of my family, I just put up this huge wall for protection. Because if I was open and vulnerable, then people could see how I really felt. They could see that I was scared, that this little girl had given me her heart. She didn't get a life of her own. You opened up enough to fall in love with Coop. I loved Coop, but I never invested too much, and then he died. That's usually a theme with me. People either leave or die, so it's a mistake to ever care. You care about Spinelli? I do. A lot. So much that it scares me. I mean, whenever I'm in trouble, or I'm happy, or I need to talk to someone, my first thought is always, I'm gonna go tell Spinelli. Because he knows me so well, and he's such a good listener. And Georgie loved him, so he understands when I miss her. You and Spinelli have a pretty deep connection. We do. And the more I talk about him, the more I realize I would really miss him if he were gone. Maybe he won't be. You don't seem to understand what I'm saying. I know that I will eventually do something to drive Spinelli away. Just kind of want to get it over with now. Yeah, makes perfect sense to me. Then both of us need psychotherapy, and since I can't afford it, I'll just revert back to my bad blonde one ways and do something really dumb so Spinelli will leave me forever. <laughs> yeah, like what, have sex with me? Yeah, like that. something that we can that we can just do to help we're not doctors we're not nurses probably the best course of action is to stay out of everyone's way i guess in the meantime you can tell me more about johnny what's going on no, i've already whined enough <laughs> you had a fight with the guy you love you have a right to feel how you feel about it this is something that i love about you the way that you understand you don't judge me <laughs> yeah that's what big brothers do we listen we give advice and then we stand back while Everyone ignores what we say. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very confused because nothing is, nothing's going the way that I thought it would. Hmm. Well, Johnny's a complicated guy. Not surprising considering the dysfunctional family he comes from. And believe me, I speak from experience. Well, that's actually what it is. When he left his family, I was so proud of him and I thought it was going to be wonderful that we could finally be together without his crazy father interfering. You know, we could start our life, but... Instead, that's when we started to fall apart. Spinelli knows I've been with a lot of guys. Lucky, Logan, how I manipulated them. In spite of it all, he still believes in you. Don't make fun of him. I'm not. Spinelli's a good person, and he happens to think you are too. Yeah, and, and I think if I had sex with someone, Spinelli would be upset, but he wouldn't freak out. Yeah, unless it was Lulu's boyfriend. Yeah, that he would freak out about. But this isn't about me and Spinelli. Sleeping with me would ruin your relationship with Lulu. There would be no going back, no second chances. I know. And she wouldn't know about that horrible secret you've been hiding. So really, I'd be doing Lulu a favor. Yeah, in a self-destructive, messed up kind of way. If I do this, I not only trash my relationship with Spinelli, but I ruin my kind of sort of friendship with Lulu. You trying to talk yourself out of this or into it? She's gonna hate my guts. Yeah, but really, you'd be doing her a favor, right? I've had a lot of reasons for sleeping with guys, but altruism has never been one of them. It's always a first. So, just do what feels right. Buy now, pay later. Life's better that way, right? Yes.